try cutting it up. The knife I'm using to create this uh, drill is the uh, Bark River Bravo 5 that I modified the ramp a little bit so it fits in my sheet.
I'm going to be using the bearing um, that I um, co-designed with a friend of mine. I'm going to be using that for my bearing block and the end of a leather belt for the welcome mat to catch the ember. And um, if anybody's interested, the backpack I'm using is a Condor 72. It's really nice. It's a clamshell design with um, about five external pockets. I'm getting ready to uh, finish my bow drill set. I uh, made that out of my walking stick. Here's a here's a peek at the inside of it. This is the main compartment, and it's got tons of space. In my cook kit. It's got a bunch of tie downs too. See the uh, there's tie down straps in here to, to lock stuff in. It's so damp out. I'm gonna use this to kneel on. I'm going to be using my new favorite uh, EDC Swiss Army knife. Um, I think it's called the One Handed Trekker. It's got a fantastic saw and a really nice locking blade. So um, that's what I'm going to be using to um, create this. on it. This wood is really marginal. It's almost too rotted. So, I'll have to see how this works. I'm chamfering the front edge now to create the spot for the coal to form. And now I'm working on the notch. You want the notch about an eighth of an inch wide or so. If it's not wide enough, you'll get a lot of smoke, but you won't get a you won't get an ember because uh, it'll be starved for air, oxygen. You want the sides pretty smooth so that the dust falls right in there freely. Alright, we'll see how this works. Alright, so far I just wanted to do this off camera so it's, it doesn't take up too much time. Um, the, I have lined, I made it whole, and I lined it with um, bark. It's also got a bunch of um, milkweed stuff in there, but 
that's just because I was overzealous when I was collecting milkweed. And over here, I've collected, I'll just show you. Over here I've collected, um, on the right hand side is the fine sticks for uh, ten kindling. And then behind it's a little bigger. The uh, fuel wood is the white right there. And um, in front of that is uh, some unprocessed um, basswood bark. And what I have here is a um, start of the backing. This is that vine with milkweed and stuff in it that I've um, I just kind of turned it into a nest. And I'm going to uh, use this as the base and then add to it. Stay with me. Okay. Here's some, after painstakingly processing it, see it still has some bark in there. But for the most part, it's gotten fluffier and fluffier. Let's take these pieces with the bark on them. I'll take them out for now. I don't, yeah, I'm not even going to need them. I'll just put them back in my haversack for another bird's nest. Wow. You want to keep this away from your face because the dust of this is really bad. At least I don't, it irritates my sinus cavities anyway. Actually, what I should be doing is doing this over my bird's nest, but you can't see it, so that the fluff that falls out falls into the nest. But for the video, I'll keep it up here so you can see it better. Okay, this is about good enough. So this is gonna be in the center. Just like, <coughs> just like this. And I'm gonna add a little bit of cedar bark to it that I got the other day. I keep these Ziploc bags <coughs> open because you don't want it to get moisture. Uh, they'll can get condensation and stuff, so you want to keep having the moisture get driven off. There's some cedar. I'll put that right in the center. That's where I'm going to put my ember. Okay. And this haversack is worth its weight in gold because it allows you to gather stuff as you're walking. Okay. Everything is so wet that I'm gonna put I put my um, hearth board on top of this plastic sack for the jerky. And my knee is just going in the mud. Fortunately. Probably only gonna have one shot at this because it's pithy and thin. Looks like we got a cold. Okay.
carefully put the coal in my bird's nest. Bring this up a little bit. There we go. We got fire. I guess that looks kind of easy. Okay, there we have our fire. And I used my bearing block and then my walking stick was my hearth board and spindle. And um, that was made of basswood. The bird's nest was made of um, vine that's similar to, it's, a, it's related to the milkweed. It's got little mini tiny pods that have the same kind of fluff in it. And uh, that was on the outside. And then the inside was